Yo, what's going on guys? My name is, of course, Jad, and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to record Fortnite in stretch resolution in Shadowplay. If you guys do enjoy this video and did find it useful, please do hit that like button, make sure to subscribe, and turn on post notifications to never miss another video. So let's get straight into this. You want to load up your Shadowplay via your hotkey or via the GeForce Experience app. Mine is, I'm going to use, I'm going to load mine up via the hotkey, which mine is set to Control B. Your GeForce experience will load up and you'll have a few settings here and you'll have the, also the settings icon here. You have to turn off your instant replay before you change any settings or as it will not let you. You want to click on your instant replay and click settings. Then there'll be your quality here, there'll be quality, medium, high, custom, your instant replay length, frame rate and it'll also be your resolution. You want to have your resolution set to what your monitor is set to. So I have a custom resolution set for NVIDIA control panel which is 1440 by 1080 and I want to set the resolution for NVIDIA GeForce Experience to 1440 by 1080 as well. Meaning I'm going to be recording in native to what my monitor is set to. So I'm going to record that and that is now set at 1440 by 1080. If we are to record any footage, again, that comes out at 1440 by 1080 but all the video softwares and what the um, what Windows Movie Maker or Windows Media Player will do is it will crop that down and rescale it to something that your, your video player can actually look at. So it's not actually 1440 but when you put it into Premiere Pro or any video editing software it will then uncompress that and put it back into the resolution that you recorded it at. So we've recorded something right now and as you can see it's still recording so we're going to stop the recording on this and we're going to go over to Premiere Pro. So we now have Premiere Pro open and Premiere Pro is right here. We're going to want to import to the file that we just recorded. So we have to go to here, go to my video files and import the, re the recording that we just did. So we want to keep our existing settings, which are, as you can see in our sequence settings, our existing settings are 1920 by 1080 at 60 FPS. That is the normal preset that you have when you're recording and you're rendering a video. So mine is obviously set to that. We can go into our Premiere Pro, but you can see that it is kind of boxed like. It doesn't look right. And that is not what 1440 looks like when you're playing Fortnite. It looks really stretched. So in Premiere Pro, you can change this and you can stretch out yourself to make it look like it's stretched. And obviously it is stretched because you're still recording in 1440 what you want to do is you want to untick your uniform scale from premiere pro and change your scale width to 134 and click enter what this will do this will uncompress the file that the, the media player actually put it into and put it back to the native resolution that you are recording in so as you can see it is now looking like 1440 it's the footage that we just recorded as you can hear again that comes out at 1440 by 1080 and there we go. We now have our footage recorded at 1440. You can now export it at 1920 by 1080, the most favored resolution for Fortnite and the most favored resolu resolution to view on YouTube. And that is all set and perfectly done. If this video was useful, please do hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications to never miss a video. Thank you guys for watching. My name has been, of course, Jad. Peace.